Hello, in part two of my cost of capital series, I'm going to show how to calculate cost of preferred stock, which preferred stock is a type of hybrid equity. Um, like, um, like a bond, it pays you fixed income, uh, which is in the form of fixed dividend. And like a stock, it has no maturity. And so what we have here is a type of perpetuity, which is an instrument that pays you a fixed cash flow, in, the, in this case in the form of dividends. And to find its value, we are simply going to divide the fixed cash flow by the required rate of return. So in this example, the fixed dividend it pays is, is $1.80 every year. And the required rate of return is 12.5%. And so by dividing 12.5% into the cash flow of the fixed dividend, we find the value of this preferred stock to be $14.40. Likewise, if we want to find the required rate of return on this preferred stock, we simply have to solve for RP, algebraically, and this is what it is. And it's going to be the dividend divided by price. And this required rate of return on preferred stock automatically becomes the um, cost of preferred stock. And this would be correct. Uh, this calculation here would be correct in the absence of any flotation cost because all we do here is to simply divide the dividend of, of a buck 80 cents by the price of $12 to get 15%. Now though, we know that firms typically go through an investment banker who would charge them a flotation fee uh, to uh, sell their securities. So in this example, the investment banker is going to charge 3% on the flotation of this of any new issue of preferred stock and so three cents on any dollar it receives will go into the pocket of the investment banker so to speak so in this example with a fixed dividend of a dollar eighty cents and the price of twelve dollars thirty six cents of that which is three cents of twelve thirty six cents will go to the investment banker and so the firm just simply picks up the net proceeds right here which is uh, eleven dollars and sixty four cents right alright so divided into one point eight will fetch us the uh, cost of preferred stock when flotation cost has been taken into account of fifteen point forty six percent so as you can see quite uh, expectedly uh, the inclusion of flotation cost raises the cost of preferred stock from 15 percent in this example to 15.46 percent so that's all there is to it really when it comes to the calculation of the cost of preferred stock and here's a little uh, homework for you this firm pays dividend of 3.75 dollars per share on it on its preferred stock the sale of new shares will uh, we'll set the firm back by 5% right here, and uh, we believe the firm can sell each share for $26, cents, for $26, sorry. So I've set it up for you, and so you go ahead and solve it and um, put a smile on your face, knowing what the uh, required rate of return on this preferred stock uh, would be. In this case, what the cost of preferred stock would be, given the flotation cost of 5%, and that's it.